What do you guys think happened to Otto? Prison. Jail. Jail. I'll say that he goes to prison for the crime he committed. Maybe he just got tired of always running from the darkness. And I really thought that you could brought the $500 from Porco? I just... I don't know, Yen Sid. The only people that we know is from the Quimby family around the world to here to Springfield who want to keep the pig down. Boone just had those $500,000 from Porco last time when he lost his bet with his red seaplane, and the pig is sometimes a king of stupid. Unless you have a problem with that. Let's not forget that a one time with Mayor Quimby who doesn't give a damn about that bet from Porco, and I'm just see what he wants. So, Big Al? What brings me here to the office? You don't remember? Rescue Rangers cologne. I wear it every day. Oh, no. I remember, so is my family and even Hiroshi. It smells like almond butter and gasoline. And it's very difficult to wash out. Or maybe Boone is still mad at me. It's not you, Eli. I owe a ton of money to the Valley Gang. The Valley Gang? Albert, those guys are bad news. I know, and if I can't pay up, they're gonna bootleg me. Their charge leader, Vincent Tenma, was been involved to all this. It's gotten rough out there for us old timers. Sean and others were working on to the business that they want is the best. Quimby. Damn it. Do you see that? Just as I thought. Boone is always get angrier and angrier. I think I'd rather deal with this or just stay out this, if you know what I mean, Porco. Well, at least I'm not the only one dealing with this crap. The hell are you yelling about? I don't know if you've heard, but I'm really not in the mood right now for jokes or games. And I'm yelling about you spending $500 on a piece of fucking plastic. What? You don't trust me. It's worth a lot of money. You're damn right I don't trust you. Look what happened last time when I did trust you. You messed everything up. That's not going to happen again. And there's no way I'm letting you mess with a green ball worth that much money. Now hand it over, and don't you dare try anything. You hear me? You realize the last one of those sold for $12,000. Granted, it had the body, but the head's got to be worth something, right? Yeah, probably about two cents. Just because the last one sold for $12,000 doesn't guarantee that this one will sell for that as well. You think that gives you the grounds to play around with such a valuable object? And I bet that Porco is about to call my brother to come down before I kill somebody. I'll bet you the farm that it ain't worth nothing. What do you want to bet? I'll tell you what. You clean the shop if I make money on it. Mr. Tenma? Is this worth of time, when you hired the overweight man who spent you money to be bootlegging people and tunes? You know, it's the best way that I don't need you to be talking about him. Sir. Do you give a shit about me or not? Of course I do. Then, why are you so afraid of? I'm not her, you know. Reba, please. Dusk told me about Celica, and... No. Don't say another word. Reba, with all due respect, we shouldn't bring this up to make Vincent upset. I'm sorry about your daughter, Vincent. 
but I've lost people too. Reba, you have no idea what loss is. Sir. Keep this loss shit up, or I'll be forced by firing you. Everybody I've cared for has either died or left me. Everybody fucking except for you and Drake's pop, or even him. So don't tell me that I'd be safer with somebody else because the truth is, I'd just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. Until dawn comes, we're going to separate in ways. And also, you were fired from the Valley Gang and the Dark Side Chronicles. Do you understand? Fine by me. I would die because of you, you old fuck. Sir, once Victoria wakes up, we'll know exactly what happened to her. And not a single defect can be found in Reba's programming. Vincent Tenma, you're making a huge mistake. I beg you, please, don't go through with this. You can beg all you want, Drake, but I assure you that it won't do any good. So, you've lost your bet with Porco last night, correct? I have to, because I had no choice, Merlin. It's just... Makes me so damn mad when it comes with losing the damn bet. Watch your language, JS. I don't want you to be fighting with Porco all of times, but I don't think he might go that far and started making a bet with someone, you know? You may have a point. I know that I shouldn't be swearing around the other kids who were younger. But still, he makes me lose my goddamn mind. J Sage, listen to me. Porco will calm down before you guys started talking to each other. You're right, Merlin. I'll try to calm down before I'll try talking to Porco tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, JS.